I think we need to regulate AI safety, frank, frankly, um, because if you think of any um, technology which is potentially a risk to, uh, civil, to to people, like if it's aircraft or uh, you know cars or uh, medicine, we, we should probably we should have a, a a similar sort of regulatory oversight for artificial intelligence because. Um, it is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than uh, cars or planes or, or medicine. Elon Musk is undoubtedly the Albert Einstein of our generation. He's at the AI forefront in several different industries, from cars to space and others. And a lot of people don't know that he was actually one of the founders of OpenAI, which is responsible for ChatGPT. And so it's very interesting to hear his take on the AI revolution and how it could be a danger to society and needs to be regulated. So without further ado, let's watch the entire clip regarding ChatGPT in this week's World Government Summit. You mentioned uh, ChatGPT earlier. Um, you know, I, I played a significant role in the creation of uh, OpenAI. Um, essentially, at the time, I was concerned that Google uh, was not uh, paying enough attention to AI safety and um, and so I, I, with a number of other people, um, created OpenAI. And although initially it was created as an open source nonprofit, and now it is closed source and for profit, I, I don't have any stake in OpenAI anymore, nor, nor am I on the board, nor do I control it in any way. Um, but the, the ChatGPT, I think, has illustrated to uh, people just how advanced AI has become. Um, because the AI has been advanced for a while, it just didn't have a user interface that was um, accessible to most people. Um, so what really ChatGPT has done is just put an, an accessible user interface on AI technology that is um, has been present for a few years. Um, and there are much more advanced versions for that that are coming out. Um, so I think we, you know, I think we, we need to really be I think we need to regulate AI safety, frank, frankly, um, because if you think of any um, technology which is potentially a risk to, uh, civil, to to people, like if it's aircraft or uh, you know cars or uh, medicine, we have regulatory bodies that um, oversee the public safety of, of cars and planes and medicine. And um, I think we, we should probably we should have a, a, a similar sort of regulatory oversight for artificial intelligence because um, it is I think actually a bigger risk to society than uh, cars or planes or, or medicine. Um, so um, and this may slow slow down AI a little bit, but I think that that might also be a good thing. Um, uh, the, the, the challenge here is that uh, government regulatory uh, authorities tend to be set up in reaction to something bad that happened. So if you look at, say, aircraft or, or cars, um, you know, the cars were unregulated at the beginning, aircraft were unregulated, uh, but they had lots of, um, you know, airplane crashes and in some cases manufacturers that were cutting corners um, and and a lot of people were dying. So they, the public was not happy about that. And so they established a regulatory authority to improve safety. And now commercial airliners are um, extremely safe. Um, in fact, they're safer than, than if, if you were to drive somewhere. Uh, it's, the safety per mile of a commercial airliner is better than a car. And, and cars are also extremely safe compared to where they used to be. Um, so, um, but if you say, if you look at, say, the introduction of seatbelts, uh, the, the auto industry fought the introduction of seatbelts uh, as a safety measure for, I think, 10 or 15 years um, before finally the regulators made them put seatbelts in cars. And that greatly improved the safety of cars. Um, and then airbags were another big improvement in safety. So, um, my concern is that with AI, if, if there's something bad that something goes wrong, 
um, the reaction might be too slow from a regulatory standpoint. Um, so I, I, I'd say like, it, 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 you know, if I'd say like, what, what are the biggest risks to the future of civilization? Um, that is AI, but AI is a double, you know, it's, it's, it's both positive and negative. It has great, great promise, great capability, but it also with that comes great danger. I mean, you look at say nuclear, it, it, you know, just discovery of sort of nuclear physics, uh, you had nuclear power generation, but also nuclear bombs. Um, so anyway, I think we should be quite concerned about it and we should uh, have some regulation of what is it, if, if uh, fundamentally, um, a risk to the public. Uh, you know. That was a fascinating interview, wasn't it? To me, it's really, really interesting because I don't know if he's speaking completely objectively or is he being sour since he's no longer co-chairman at his own volition. He resigned in 2018 from OpenAI, citing a conflict of interest due to Tesla also developing AI systems. Now, he says he has no say in OpenAI anymore, so I assume that he's no longer an advisor, but I wonder if he's still an owner of the company, just not a really meaningful one per percentage wise because I couldn't find much information on whether or not Elon Musk currently has a stake in OpenAI. It was also really interesting and there's irony in the fact that Elon Musk is wanting regulation. He wants an agency to regulate AI in several industries and understandably so. I mean, AI, it can lead to privacy concerns, inequality, it can lead to safety issues, bias. I mean, a lot of people are complaining that ChatGPT takes a left-leaning side when it comes to politics. And so I get why regulation is necessary, even for ethical reasons or even job reasons like a lot of people are saying okay bloggers are gonna lose their jobs maybe coders are gonna lose their jobs in certain industries in IT but then it begs the question of well is it something that if you create something that's just too good and too perfect that it should now be regulated and illegal because it's just too damn good of a technology? Or is it something that it's the technological revolution and we should go ahead and evolve with the times? But what's really, really interesting is that Elon Musk has always been against big government, against regulation. I mean, you even see that with him moving over to Texas. A lot of the reasons revolved around Around that. And in the past, he's criticized government agencies like the SEC. He thinks a lot of the government rules in place are very, very stupid and arcane. And he has some resentment for a lot of people in office and big government. And he spoke out against government subsidies many times, which to me makes him seem a little bit like a hypocrite because regulatory carbon credits is one of the reasons that Tesla's bottom line is so important impressive and that comes from the government and Tesla goes ahead and takes advantage of that and they were able to expand and grow in part thanks to some of these government rules. Now obviously there's been tension with the current president as far as Tesla is concerned but this video is about chat GPT so I'm curious on what your take is. What did you think of Elon Musk basically telling the world and warning the world that we might not be ready for such a fast paced AI revolution and although we're all fascinated and sidetracked with how accurate chat GPT is and how amazing it is at generating new content these generative AI machines are so so powerful and we are absolutely enamored with it at the moment but are we paying attention to the real dangers that can lead from chat GPT and future iterations of it and should we have an agency in place or are we shooting ourselves in the foot because countries like China China, like North Korea, like other parts of Asia, they are going full throttle with AI technology evolution. And we certainly don't want to get left behind because it could become a national security threat. It could become a privacy threat. There is a lot of stuff that AI is able to do aside from the obvious, like autonomous weapons.
weapons or social surveillance or political manipulation. And so this topic is super, super interesting to me. I'm going to follow it very, very closely. And when new interviews like this come out, you're definitely going to see it on my channel. So make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on ChatGPT, what your thoughts are on Elon Musk's take. And do you think he is speaking objectively or does he have a bit of FOMO because he left the whole open AI Jat GPT project in order to pursue and make Tesla reach its maximum potential. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for sticking around for the entirety of this video. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comment section. I'm going to respond to every single comment that comes through and I will see you all in the next video.